hesitant on doing this video because this is a really like kind of private subject of my life uh, that happened in my life but I decided to do this video because it may help like some of you guys and um, I decided to start this series which is called My Ethnic Story and um, this basically is just going to tell like what I've been through with acne and acne has been a part of my life for quite a few years now and I just decided it was nice just to show to you guys if you're going through a certain situation so yeah I decided to do this, this series just because I thought it would help you some of you guys and it's going to be the first one and this is going to be my acne story from the beginning to the end so I'm just going to kind of tell you my actual story and everything that happened and I literally have no idea how long this is going to be this video but it's going to be like really long because I have a lot to talk about here on my computer I put you some notes on my laptop so just sit back as I am on my bed just enjoy uh, the video and I hope this will be helpful I started an acne really really young, I was around 9-ish, 10 years old, so it was around, I'd say, 5th grade and this is usually when people have acne around that time, so around like puberty and thankfully I had like this friend in my class and this is the thing, you don't take your action alone if you have acne Make sure you find someone in your class or your school that has acne and has something a problem, a problem on their like skin, and so you can help each other and like support each other, give advice to each other, maybe share some products that help your skin to another person. It's really helpful just to have that one friend that you can actually speak and they will understand what you're feeling. And so thankfully, I had a friend like that, and uh, but. It seems like my acne but like a thousand times like worse than her and um, I hated having acne everyone and my acne wasn't just a pimple in the beginning it was but then my acne just went out of the rail and just started popping out everywhere and I was grateful I only had my acne on my uh, face so it was out of control and I hated it so much and I always feel, felt like um, people were talking to me they were actually looking at my acne and thought that I was ugly and I just really thought that I would talk to people who just stare at my acne and I was always like comparing to other girls and like why did I have this? Why the, why the heck I had like these explosions happening on my freaking face? With acne it's really easy to have really low self esteem and no confidence at all and think that people really think you're ugly just don't think that maybe this is just on your mind because maybe people don't even care if you have acne or if you feel freaking look like you have tons of explosions that happen on your face and it's the worst thing okay just make sure that you kind of accept that but I know it's really hard to accept that I know when you have acne and you hear people saying oh you just have to accept what you have and whatever really hard, I know what you actually have been, have been through like it's really hard to just accept that because you're not fine with that and that's around the time, around like 6th, 7th grade where I was not I was really low, I had really low self esteem I was not confident at all and that was the time uh, when I started um, makeup I started watching the makeup tutorials, I started using makeup but while hiding your imperfections, you know, acne with makeup just gives you a lot more self esteem because you're just not, people are not actually seeing those horrible things you have on your face. I'm not saying that you should wear makeup every day, but I'm saying just makeup when you have like those imperfections, acne on your face, it helps a lot. And that's when I really started loving makeup. But like the kind of of a get away from and um, after seeing at that time around 6th, 7th grade I started seeing like a lot of makeup and videos and tutorials and beauty gurus and I started to watch a lot of us, uh, people talking about skincare people talking about routine and how to clear up your skin and uh, so at that time in 8th grade I started to actually start my own skincare routine uh, because I, I, 
I actually, I've never done that before Gate Grey. I wasn't really in the mood to do that because it takes time, okay? I was just too late to do it. And on that grow, I started, you know what? This may even help. And I started to buy an oldest product that I saw that worked on TV and on magazines, like the Clean and Clear, like uh, three step kind of product for acne, and like tons of other stuff that so it would clear me up. And I actually did it. And I spent like tons of money on that stuff because they're quite expensive. I don't know, if you have like only like a pimple, it might work for you, but if you have like severe acne or a lot of pimples and blushing, I'm pretty sure it won't work. Now I pray. I begged, I begged my mom and we went to the dermatologist. And this one of my biggest regrets ever was not going to the dermatologist before. If I went to the dermatologist, no, man, dermatologic, dermatologic, dermatologic. Uh, before, like a few years uh, earlier, I may have cleared up my skin like a ton year earlier. So this is one of my tips. Go so if you have really like severe acne, don't wait for it to disappear. Do something, treat her, treat it, and go to the dermatologist to uh, talk to your doctor to see what you can do to your skin. And um, I started to doing like um, using products that was suitable for my type of skin and was like the doctor recommended. But since my acne was actually kind of severe at the time after and this is, uh, I started having acne I say like five at four to fifth grade and uh, only like five years later on ninth grade I started to go to dermatologic. Dermatologic, really bad reader? Dermatology. Oh my god, I can say that word. Dermatologic, right? Okay. <laughs> Um, and uh, I did skincare doing that products actually didn't work. Uh, so the doctor and I, and uh, mom and whatever, decided to try a more advanced, uh, advanced and more severe kind of treatment. And I'm not pretty sure how it's called. I don't even know if the doctor ever said that it was called. But I'm pretty sure, and it's really similar to a thing I've uh, to treatment I've seen here on YouTube, which is called Ecotain. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's the proper name what um, that I did because Ecotain is a really uh, severe and really uh, harsh treatment if you have really um, severe uh, and advanced, advanced um, acne. And I'm so sorry, I'm not English, and sometimes I just I can't speak. There's those days I cannot speak in freaking English. And this is the day I can't speak English, so sorry if my words are going crazy in my mouth. It's insane. Why? Why this happened when I'm filming a freaking video? <laughs> okay. And um, I started taking this uh, past uh, September the pills. Uh, the pill, you know. And you take the pill like a uh, habit here. I like this, and it's in the pills that are supposed to have birth control. And the reason you actually uh, take the pill is that, um, for example, my acne, I had acne uh, that was because of hormonals. It was uh, hormonal acne, and what um, this is going to make is going to help uh, you prepare your body, uh, your hormones, and all that stuff to stay in place and uh, prepare your body. To the actual the other pills were a lot strong, and so I started taking these around I think it was September, and after two months around November, uh, October, November, I uh, I started using the, the actual pills, and um, at first around like two months or the first month, first month, month and a half, you actually can't see any difference. It looks like nothing's working, but then around after like two months. Of the treatment, you O M G. It's just you are going to start to have the worst acne you ever had in your entire life. Just the worst ever. Because what the pills uh, are doing is actually expel everything on your freaking face. And it's just horrible. And I started having this around the, the December and January. And you, you can go and see my oldest like, winter videos, and they were. Disgusting. I'm gonna put here some picture right now and maybe some clips of the videos that I did back then. Don't want to joke about it. I know I look ugly on those photos. No one needs to tell me down below 
This is something that really happens in my life and it will happen to you basically if you take Accutane. My, and Accutane sometimes have some side effects and my side effects was the dryness. The dryness. And uh, I had the most shipped lips and dry lips I ever had in my entire life. And if you can see kind of on the photos, that my lips were so freaking dry and on the clips of the videos that it was insane. It hurt so badly and if you just exfoliate just a tiny little bit to stop the bleed, um, it's just the worst time ever. I never had my lips like that. It was so freaking disgusting. But then around April when the fairy tale came and I started to clear up. And around that, um, mid-April, I stopped the treatment. I still take the pills just because it's an acne, it's kind of hormonal. This will just help to keep it in control and keep the freaking hormones in place so it won't happen ever again in acne. May, and this was really nice because it was like around my birthday and it was like two months ago. Uh, finally, I had that clear up and now I am so freaking happy. My skin is clear and it's not as clear as like the amazing skins that models or movie actors have but it's like comparing to like five years ago and the past five years now it's so clear and it's so nice and I just I love like watching me in the mirror and just feel more confident and now I barely use makeup as I said before I only use maybe a little bit of concealer and a little powder and that's it I barely like use heavy foundation and I just I feel a lot more happy, a lot more. I have a lot more self-esteem, and I feel a lot more confident, like talking to people and all stuff. And I'm not trying here to bag or brag or anything like that. I uh, I really just want to kind of show you my story to you, um, so you can actually see that if you have acne, like really severe acne, it will pass. And this is something I've learned towards past few months that it will pass and that as once the great achievement said and I'm pretty sure actually the phrase was originally the quote was originally from John Lennon but I heard oh, I saw on the internet once that achievement of Teddy so I'm gonna say right now and this is one of my favorite quotes ever and it says everything will be okay in the end if it's not okay it's not the end and you just have to make sure you remember this quote and because everything in the end will be okay and you will have the clear skin you have had your entire life and uh, just make sure no matter what they say and oh my god I feel just like Christina Aguilera now but seriously no matter what people say and no matter what you might think of yourself you are indeed beautiful so listen to your mother okay if she says you're beautiful you are because it will somehow just pass and you will have no acne and you'll be beautiful as you are right now and even more beautiful then so yeah this is my acne story so please just be supportive and thumbs up this video and comment down below what you thought of this video if you're excited or if you want more of this type of videos and if it helped you in some way or if you have some tips that you want to share with us uh, with me or other people just put it down below and don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you later. Bye!